Uh, so before I start the video, I just want to say that I'm going to stream at 2 p.m. EST at twitch.tv slash Oscar. I'm going to do funny minigames such as Simon Says, Hide and Seek, Protect the President, maybe some 1v1s if we're up for that too. So yeah, twitch.tv slash Oscar, pull up if you want to. Love you. Mwah. Homegirl is back, by the way. Um, so yeah, we're, we're back at Phantom Forces. And... Uh, yeah, I was. A, I took my quick, quick little break. It felt nice, but now we're back at it. We're back in the grind. We're back. We're gonna go. We're gonna go hard. You understand? And today's video is gonna be about useless attachments. All right, right? y'all know that there are a lot of <laughs> useless attachments in Phantom Forces, and I kind of want to go over some of them. Actually, I kind of want to go over most of them generally. Why can't I hear anything? I can, but it's just a lot. Oh, it's kind of good actually. Oh. Um, all right, all right, let's okay. Let's start with the most obvious one. Let's start with the most obvious one in the game All right, y'all know of the flash hider, right? Y'all know of the flash hider, right? This might be the most useless attachment ever created in Phantom Forces. All right, hear me out So you'd, you'd think oh well, I, I see so much muscle flash It's actually so blinding. I need the flash hider because it's actually so hard to see. Oh my god I, I have this revelation for you. All right, bro go to settings go to display and go to enable muscle effects and do disable. You know what that does? It disables muscle effects. Let me put on a compensator. This is supposed to have flash. Actually, let me, let me demonstrate. All right. Let me turn off this. All right. There we go. You see, you see the flash. There's flash there. Very clearly flash. All right. Let me go turn it on. Uh, there we go. Well, disable thing, whatever. All right. Let's see here. No flash. And I have a compensator. Like, that is so dumb. Who thought that that was a good idea to do? Like, come on, bro. You're kidding, right? Like, come on, come on, come on. You, you like, like, you gotta give the flash hider some use. You gotta, and you, now you, you might might think, well, the flash hider might like reduce recoil or something. It's probably like a middle ground or something. No, no, <laughs> oh bucko, it doesn't change recoil at all. It changes, bro. It changes your hip fire spread dumping by zero point zero. <laughs> Dude, you, you go, you're kidding me, right? All right, so we have a few more muscle attachments that I could consider useless. All right, next one we have on the list is a Halbeck device. Oh my god. All right, so you hear, hear me out. All right, the compensator reduces horizontal recoil, all right? That's what it does, but it still has this vertical recoil, right? You think that the Halbeck device also reduces recoil in a way, but no. It's like using a G46 without a muscle, muscle attachment, right? But reverse. Like, what's the point of that? Now you just, it's the same thing as this, but reverse, right? It's not like you have compensator but reverse you just have this but reverse you know it's so like let, let me demonstrate this in in the end will overall have more recoil than with a compensator and stuff like that don't use the halbeck device there's like no guns that this is useful on except like, like a pistol or, or something like that if you're weird like that like like i i uh, and it's weird it messes with my dude look look <laughs> the, dude my 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 p pink dot isn't even going where it's supposed to go like come on bro you come on come on but hear me out now we have more muscle attachments that are useless bro all right let's go in a field day here bro suppressors oh my god they're like flash hiders but they reduce damage. <laughs> they actually don't affect recoil either. Like, I don't know if you knew this, but suppressors don't reduce recoil. They just reduce damage range, muscle velocity, and your damage. And wow, now you you're hidden on the minimap. But at the same time, you don't. You aren't hidden on the minimap. Because Mar decided it was a good idea to have a detection radius. What is a detection radius? You're not gonna be hidden. You're not gonna be hidden. You're gonna still gonna be detected. This is a dumb... Don't use suppressors, bro. Just don't. There's no point, bro. Like, sure, if you want to be stealthy and cool... I guess go for it, but like, please, bro. This is like, oh my guy, oh my guy, you know? Oh, come on. I can just use a compensator. Like, it's not bad, but like, oh, you're, you're hurting my soul. You're hurting my soul that this exists, right? Let's go. Nah, nah. We're gonna, we're gonna flame all attachments, bro. We're gonna, we're gonna end your careers, dude. All right, sights. Oh my god, sights. All right, no sights reduces recoil, except the DCL20. This reduces recoil by 5%. Well, it's like rotation and recoil, whatever. It's, it's a small amount, but we don't talk about that. So, uh, let's be real here. The only useful sites in the game are like Delta, Mini, EOTech 552, Cobra, Reflex, Coyote, right? And then we have all these weird iron sites. Like, what is the quick release? Bro, who wants HK416 irons, bro? Nah, you weird if you want HK416 irons. I'm not gonna judge you though, even though I just called you weird. Whatever, it doesn't matter, all right? But the thing is, I want these to be categorized. I'm not calling any of these sites useless i just it's so cluttered like it's so hard to find these sites sometimes bro you gotta memorize that like oh the reflex is like somewhere around here there it is right and like 
that the DCL is somewhere around here. The global is going to be right here, you know. But I want them to like categorize. They're going to add like categorizations here. I think they're going to do in the next UI update where it's like says iron sites, normal sites, or red dot sites, whatever you call them. Like these kind of sites and scopes. And that would be the be one of the best things added to Phantom Forces because I don't have to scroll through the nine quadrillion sites that they have added. All right, let's go on to grips, right? Um, no grip matters except no, no grip matters except to stop being folding. All right, the, the potato angled pistol, um, heretic you are, and like, yeah, those grips, they have their uses. But in the end, I'd say uh, the, the stop being folding just does like what they do, but better. Like, if, if you ever have an automatic gun, just, just use stubby and folding. Like, there are some very rare cases where, like, these grips are useful, but, like, just stubby and folding. That's all you need, bro. That's all you need, bro. Alright, that's literally all you need. That's all I'm gonna say. And here we have lasers. I have nothing to say about lasers. Lasers are our preference. I really like the blue laser. That's why I use it. So, yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. And then, oh, 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 one last thing, the tracerless, it doesn't even make your, it doesn't even make it tracerless, bro, there's still tracers, dude, you're kidding, right, <laughs> and I think it increases the recoil, like, what, what is that, why would you increase recoil, bro, oh my god, all right, nah, that, that's, that's, that's my, that's my rant, not rant, but my, by throwing shade on every attachment in the game, bro. All you need is compensate your muscle break, folding grip, stubby grip, reflex sight, and blue laser, bro. And skeleton grip when when uh, you're sniping, I guess, or something like that. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, if you like me, if you love me, mwah, uh, subscribe. I'll be streaming today at 2 p.m. EST, which uh, first time in, I don't know, a few days. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, I love you guys. Uh, I'll see you stream if, you're, if you even want to pull up, you know, the game. I love you more.